Welcome to my channel, I'm Bea. My channel is about art journaling, mixed media, collage, assemblage and anything else that sparks my interest. Now enjoy my video. Hey all, welcome back to another project for our older book about insects or entomology. As you can see here I have made a sketch. You can download this in the free member area if you don't want to draw your own bee, because we are going to paint today a bee. We uh, did start by gluing two pages together, that those are double pages, so that's where we are going to work. We are going to use a tissue paper again, again either a bought one or you make your own with tissue paper. I'm going to protect here a little bit. We're going to start with the layer of chest, so before we add the tissue paper. I'm going to use a wet wipe because I don't want it um, complete coverage because we're going to add the tissue paper and then we're going to go over again. So that should do the trick. So. And as usual, I'm going to have a lot of parts speed up. So next part, we're going to cover that completely. And I don't want the butterflies so much. Now to attach that I'm going to use the Liquitex medium. Now I'm going to go over again with some gesso, but just a light application this time. My next step is adding some stencil work, a sort of a honeycomb pattern, and I have this found object here, it's a piece from the tiles we had, the, the small tiles were all glued here and we just removed some tiles and I kept this and it's, it used to be paper, now it is all plasticky. So that's what I'm going to use. But if you don't have something like that, there are store-bought honeycomb patterns out there so you can buy any stencil or maybe you have already a stencil, who knows. So what I want to do, I want a strip of as I said, I like a honeycomb pattern and I'm going to use gold paint, a rather thick, not, not exactly heavy body, but a rather thick paint. So this is a gold iridescent, it is from PBR, but there are many gold colors out there. And of course I'm gonna use a sponge. <laughs> I cut them back until I only have a really small piece left but I still use it. So I dab into the paint and dab it a little bit off. Maybe I should go over here a little bit. And now I try to make a really neat pattern this time and I'm gonna use the whole stencil. Sometimes I only use part of stencils, but I want sort of a long strip here. It 
it's another a light color so I think I'm gonna go over a second time So what we need next is our pattern for, for a bee and I think I go for the larger one. That has that's depending a little bit on the size of the book you have. So you have to adapt the size of your bee a little bit. I want to have a quote over here, but I think that yeah, that works fine. Fine. You could use like uh, those uh, copier paper. Uh, I'm gonna try it first with my usual uh, graphite technique. I just have graphite everywhere where the lines are. I just prefer this technique. But sometimes I have to go with the uh, transfer paper too. If the color doesn't show up, depending on the background you have. So let's see whether it works or not with the graphite this time. And I have like a 3B or a 2B just to make sure that it transfers. And I think it's going to be here. And then I usually use a ballpoint pen and just go along the lines. It's a little bit tricky here because of that, what we have in the background. So you have to be careful and go slowly because there are bumps. Okay, now I'm going to use the Posca 0.7 millimeter pen uh, with black. It's an acrylic based pen. So, and I know you probably can't see it, but I can see it. Yeah, you sort of get the idea here. Now I have those um, very inexpensive um, bristle brushes and because I want to make like a fuzzy yellow now I even did cut them. Can you see that? Oh, I um, yeah, hardly. I did cut them even a little bit. So just to be sure that it is really stiff and fuzzy. If you have an old brush which is fuzzy and not no longer nice, that's perfect too. I'm gonna use two different kind of yellow. And I only need a little bit. That's way too much. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, that's what I want. Maybe I even get some white with it.
I do get slightly over the lines to indicate the fuzziness from the of the outside of the bean, not inside. Uh, but if you hit it, it's not a problem. We're gonna go over with black anyway. But like here, and I think I even gonna add just a tiny bit of brown. It's gonna be several layers. Now I'm going to go over the lines again and I'm going to fill in like the legs. I do just with the pen, so much easier. <laughs> and just redefine the segments of the of bees. There are many different types of bees out there and as I said already, I think I said, I'm not sure. Uh, it's not an accurate scientific bee, it's just a symbol for bees. Now for the wings I have a pearl white, but I know it's a very transparent color. It actually say, says it here, but, hmm, probably can see it. It's an empty square, that means it's a transparent color. So I'm gonna go in first with some Titan Buff White, just to give a better chance. And I'm gonna switch the brushes now. So I still have some white here and I'm, I'm using now an ordinary synthetic brush, not a bristle, more soft because I don't want um, that fuzzy look for the wings. I don't think wings are fuzzy. They are shimmery, that's why I'm gonna use a pearl white afterwards. I'm gonna go in with some um, pearl white. It's probably hard to see on camera, but it just gives a nice shimmer. Now that has to dry and then I go along again with the black pen. I also have to do those lines and in the meantime, I want to add a quote. If we die, we are going to take a look at us. Okay, so I'm going to do some lines. Okay, I'm running out of space, that's why I did it with pencil first. Die. Me. Okay. That has to be smaller.
Yep, I did it again. I missed the U. So I'm gonna put it in right here. So here we are. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you soon again. Take care. Bye.